Hi and hello guys. Uh, today in this video, I'll show you as to how you can dual boot the Raspberry Pi OS desktop version and Android TV version 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4 board. Okay. So without any delay, let us get started. So for this dual boot procedure, we'll be making use of pin, uh, which is in fact a modification or a betterment of the Noobs project. And uh, the Android TV part comes from Constacang's uh, Lineage OS 17.1 build. So credit for the Android TV goes to him, not to me. So creating a dual bootable image is a very convoluted process. Creation of a dual bootable image is pretty lengthy and convoluted. So in order to save your time and cut down the time that you spend on this, I have already prepared an image. Uh, ready to be uh, downloaded. You can find the link for the image and the gaps in the description of this video. So head over to the link and download both these files. So once you have downloaded both the files, right click on the RAR file and choose extract here. Okay. So after the extraction process is complete, you will get a .img file or a file with a .img extension. Okay. So do not extract this gaps file, just copy the gaps file onto a thumb drive which we will be using a bit later in order to install the gaps onto the Android TV. Okay. So before you write the IMG file onto the SD card, I would really suggest you to format the card first. The go to application or software to format uh, the SD cards and the other memory devices is the SD formatter. It is safe to use. I will leave the link for this application in the description of this video. You can download the SD formatter application from the link. So from the drop down, select your micro SD card, choose quick format and then choose format and then choose yes. Choose OK and then close this window. So to write the IMG file onto the SD card, there are different applications. You could probably use Etcher or uh, even Win32 Disk Imager. So for this demonstration, I will be using the Win32 Disk Imager. Alternately, you can even use the uh, Etcher software. Paste uh, the path to the directory where you have the IMG file over here, and, and then right, right click and choose rename, copy the image name, and then add a forward slash. And then paste it over here. Alternately, you can just click on this folder, browse to the folder where you have the IMG file, and then you can select the IMG file as well. That is also you can follow, uh, you can use that method also to uh, get the path to the uh, IMG file. So, once you have got the path to the IMG file over here, from the drop down, select the micro SD card. See, if you have multiple uh, storage devices connected, make sure to select the right device otherwise all your data will be wiped out and uh, I don't think you can uh, retrieve the data in some cases okay so after verifying the path to the image file and your device choose right choose yes so before we proceed further just a small piece of advice use a memory card that that is at least uh, 16 gigabytes large okay the image by itself is almost close to 14.8 gigabytes as you can see over here. So I would really suggest you to use a micro SD card that is at least 16 gigabytes large. Okay. After successfully writing the image onto the SD card, you will get a right successful message. Click on OK and at this point you can eject the micro SD card from your computer insert it onto the pi and then boot the pi okay so now as you can see the pi is booting up upon successful boot of the pi you will get a pop up menu and uh, this will have the two options to select or switch between the two operating systems pretty straightforward all the installation part everything has been taken care of already so at this point uh, let me proceed and show you as to how we can install the gaps on the Android TV build. Select the image, 
and then choose boot. Now the Lineage OS logo will start appearing. When it says it is searching for some accessories, press F2 on your keyboard, that is the back button. The process of getting started with Lineage OS is very simple, just follow the on screen instructions. Choose next and then choose accept. Select your desired language and choose next. Set the date and time according to your location and then choose next. At this point, you will be prompted to connect to your Wi Fi. After connecting to the Wi Fi, uh, if you want, you can enable the location services, otherwise, unselect the checkbox. Choose next. So, once again, if you want to send the diagnostic information. Uh, select this box otherwise uncheck this box and choose next uh, there is no pin required okay you can skip this part you don't need a pin to lock your tv to skip okay so otherwise if you want a pin you can set up the pin it's your preference now choose start okay so now you will have the tv interface appear as you can see i have already connected the usb drive on which i have got the gaps file so as such, you don't have the Google applications or gaps. To enable that, click on the gear icon and then choose device preferences. Keep scrolling down and then choose about. Scroll down until you get to the option that says build. Keep clicking on the build until it says that you have enabled the developer settings. Press F2 that is go back and then select the developer options. Under the developer options, I would suggest you to enable the root access, choose OK and then make sure to select the advanced reboot option. Okay, So that part is done, press F2, F2, F2 until you are out onto the main screen. In order to reboot your Pi, click on the gear icon, select device preferences and then choose about and then select restart. At this point, you will have multiple options appear before your screen. Select the recovery option and then press enter. If the normal TV build or just the TV build on your SD card, what will happen is if you select to reboot to the recovery it will directly boot to the pwrp since we have got this dual boot enabled it will again uh, boot to the pin menu and over here you need to select the android tv option Okay, so now it will boot into the TWRP. Choose swipe to allow modifications or swipe to allow modifications. Click on the click on the mount option. Select all the partitions. Go back and then choose install. In this window over here, click on select storage and select the USB that you have connected and then choose OK. And now you will have the gaps appear that you have got on your thumb drive. Select the gaps. Just make sure to leave these two options unchecked or unselected. And now choose swipe to confirm flash. OK, so once the gaps installation is successful, choose to wipe Dalvik. Swipe to wipe. Now the Dalvik partition is wiped completely. Choose reboot system. Now again you will be taken to the pin OS menu. Select the Android TV option.
once again now you should get the lineage os logo if you are stuck onto the remote screen uh, keep pressing on the f2 until you get to the welcome screen in this screen select your desired language and now you have an option you can either set up the android tv with your android phone otherwise you can just enter your email address and then set up your android tv once you sign in successfully you will be presented with the terms of condition to accept if you want to enable location based services choose yes otherwise no and once again if you want to provide diagnostic feedback choose yes otherwise no and finally choose continue choose continue choose turn on choose yes youtube okay so now once the pi boots you should see the uh, youtube app over here if you go into the apps you will have the other google applications as well okay i have already made a video on this build so i'm not going to go deep into the build testing and all so this is the procedure to install the gaps okay so let us quickly uh, head back over to the pin boot option and let us try booting into the raspberry pi os okay so now we are back to the pin boot option menu or pin boot menu let us quickly try booting the raspberry pi os Uh, version of the raspberry pi os that i have provided with this image is the 4th of march uh, build okay so i prepared this image quite some time back uh, almost towards the end of the march i really never got time to uh, make a video on this so that is why i'm making a video on this okay so you can uh, upgrade the version of the raspberry pi os on this anytime from the terminal okay so that's not an issue okay so that is pretty much it guys so i really hope that uh, you guys find this video useful and informative play around with this image and have fun take care stay safe see you guys in the next video bye bye